Welcome back to Grey Squadron Game. We have another exciting episode of our Star Wars Battle Legion Battle Reports, I should say. This is episode 48. We are back on a forest planet with some temples. I brought a rebel list. It's going to be a great time. We have Jason on the channel again. Jason has been on the channel for a while, so that's exciting. We're doing a little bit of prep, if you will, a little practice, a little trial runs for a tournament coming up called the Summer Cup. Keep your eyes open. We're waiting for the Shadow Collective to launch, which launched this Friday. We're filming before this video comes out, obviously. And then we're going to give it a couple weeks for people to build their armies up, paint if they want to bring them, etc. And then we'll start the Summer Cup. It is going to be awesome. We have more players this time. We're going to have 12 players in our Summer Cup. It's going to be single elimination. It's going to have prize support. We're going to have giveaways, of course, for all you guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be great. You are looking at my list led by Gideon. I mean, a generic rebel commander. If you guys know, you know, played Imperial Assault, you'll recognize the model looks a lot like Gideon to me. He's got vigilance. He's there. He's my Luke tax, if you will. Going to help out a little bit, but probably not do a ton. Then we have Luke Skywalker himself. He's going to have Force Push, Force Reflexes, Saber Throw, and Situational Awareness. Because I like my Luke's more defensive with Situational than defensive than offensive with Tenacity. Sabine Wren's going to have her Combat Shield, her Dark Saber, and Situational Awareness as well. She brought her family, Wren, with her. They're going to have the two names you have to have, and then Situational Awareness as well. There's a theme. We brought a Rebel Commando Strike Team with the Sniper Rifle. We brought a Rebel Pathfinder unit with Biston, Duck and Cover, and the Config. We brought a unit of Fleets naked, a unit of Rebel Troopers naked, and a unit of another Rebel Trooper with the Medroid. Brings us at 9 activations and 790 some odd points that I don't remember because it's not right in front of me at this time, but we'll go check out Jason's list. And then we'll tell you who's Blue Player, who's Red Player, show you the map, show you the deployment, everything else. Don't forget... We are doing giveaways. We are always doing giveaways on some shape form here on Gray Squadron Gaming. We still have the J Square Design Studio giveaway going for the Legion template or the token holder and the order token holder. I'll show you guys during the deployment stage as well so you guys can get a look at that. Just comment below on this video. On any of our social media posts, that will get you extra entries as well. And please stay tuned for that Summer Cup coming up. We're going to be giving away a ton of stuff. It's going to be great. With that, let's go check out Jason's list. Glad to be back on the channel. Uh, I'm bringing back a similar list that I was a long time ago, probably about six months ago was the last time I was on here. Uh, bringing back uh, seven sabers list, but this time with a little bit of touch, adding the Magnus. So I'll go over my list. I have General Grievous with the Annihilator and Tenacity. I have Maul uh, pretty much naked, just saber throw. Uh, Count Dooku with uh, Force Reflexes, Force Choke, and Force Push. Uh, a unit of Magna Guards with an extra Magna Guard unit. Uh, two B1 droids with the EV Medical Droid. And that's going to be uh, the two red B1s since I do not have that card. Or do not have that plastic yet. And the last set of B1s is going to have an HQ uplink. So I'm pretty sure that Joe thinks I'm going to be shooting at range 4 the entire game. <laughs> How many points does that bring you up to? 793. That will make you blue player. So we'll go ahead and take a look at his cards. Get started to show you guys the giveaway and then the deployment. And we'll be back. Here are Jason's cards. He is blue player. What would you like to pass or flip first? I'm actually going to go ahead and flip Rapid Reinforcements. Rapid's gone. You know, we both don't mind limiting with our list, but I like it. He likes it a little bit more than me. So I'm going to flip that. I would like to cut some hostages up, I guess, so I'll keep hostages. I don't mind hostages, I don't mind clear, so I'm thinking I'm going to keep these two. The question is, do I want battle lines or hemmed in? With hostage exchange, I think I want battle lines a little bit more. So I think I'm going to pass. So we're going to play battle lines, hostage exchange, and clear condition. We'll get the boards set up, deploy things, show you guys the giveaway, and get started with this game. Welcome to round one, where he went with the Phantom Menace. Maul cannot attack enemy units beyond range 2, and Maul cannot attack him. He did not divulge it. Just a normal card. I went with Return of the Jedi, which is a classic Luke Skywalker 2 units. When Luke Skywalker is issued an order, he gains a dodge. When Luke Skywalker activates each friendly trooper unit range 1 to 3 of him, may remove his suppression. Here's the board for the night. We are on a kind of foresty, temple-y world. You know, better watch out for them seagulls, guys. Not now. Stop it now. I went ahead and put my scouts over here. Use their scout to scout just a little bit. We've got Luke, Gideon, Rebel Officer, I mean. I mean I'm going to keep calling him Gideon. Rebel Troopers with the Medroid, Fleets, Sabine, her family, all along here. I infiltrated my Pathfinders early um, right there. He responded to his last activation. He put his Mangaguards there. He's going to go hunting for some Rebels. 
both of our people started in the middle and they both moved out with their hostages. He also has his troopers moving up there with Dooku, Grievous, and Maul kind of all in line with each other. Changes orders with, you know, HQ uplink. Should be good. Before I forget, giveaway still going on, J squared. This is their token holder. Magnets to the top and bottom. You lift out the thing, it tells you what goes underneath it. They're awesome. One winner will get this and this. Look at the cardboard um, holding version of this, not the acrylic one. But it holds all your tokens, has a magnet to the top and bottom, J-Square Design Studio. Check them out. They also make that dashboard I showed and this. They make lots of different things. Um, so check them out. Also, if you guys have it, remember to check out the Gifted Games. They're a local game store to us. They're awesome. The Gifted Games has a lot of things that all Gifted Game stores or local game stores would have. AMG products like Legion you're seeing here. X-Wing Armada, Warhammer, everything. You name it, they have it. Great price. Let them know you heard about them from the Gray Squadron Gaming guys. With that said, his two-bit goes first. We'll get started. So for my uh, first activation, we're going to go ahead and activate the Magna Guards. Uh, we're going to take an aim, and we're just going to charge up there and try to uh, destroy some rebels. Round one mistake, maybe, for my side, was trying to get him... Uh, was, was also kind of baiting him a little bit so he wouldn't have Guardian, but now I don't know if I'm regretting it. I'll tell you if I'm regretting it after this roll. Yeah, so the Magna Guards are uh, two black dice each, so you have eight black dice with Surge to hit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and an aim token. This could be bad news for the Pathfinders. I could have made a big boo-boo here. I made a big boo-boo here. That looks like a good roll, so we will go ahead and use spend the aim to roll those two. Oh, man, guys, this is a bad mistake by my... Oh, God. Uh, we have eight hits coming through. Four, six, eight. Well, Pathfinders roll white dice and Surge to the fence, but um, I've got seven health, so I need a couple, a couple paint here to survive this. Let's see how bad I'm going to regret this. Eight, eight, eight it is. We blocked two, which means we're losing everybody but the leader right <laughs> off the bat. That, that That's unfortunate, but it happens. It happens. Okay, going to my stack. I've got special forces. Well, the Pathfinders, I, they are not alive, by the way. They, they don't have seven health. They have six health, so they're dead. That's unfortunate. That's, let's not think about that too long. It makes me sad. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and move the Pathfinders, or the <laughs> Pathfinders, the Mandalorian Resistance, speed three, pretty much up to the step. I'm going to do some measurements, see who I have to shoot. I mean, they're going to shoot Duke if I have him. He may be just in or just out. If not, we will shoot the Magna Guards who moved up on that hill to give some payback for my beloved Pathfinders. Let's go check it out. Okay, Mandos are just shy of Dooku, so we're going to shoot those Magna Guards up there. Um, I'm going to spend the aim right now to make Trista's gun long shot, so her red, white, and black becomes range three instead of range two. Um, that's Ursa. Tristan adds two blacks with suppressive lethal matter here because I spent the aim on that. So let's see what we get. No aim for you search to hit. Four. Magnus do roll red dice. Uh, three, wounds. three wounds. So I lose one and another and a wound on one of them. So. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and activate Maul here. And he's going to go ahead and just do a double move. I think I'm just going to climb up all the way up the stairs and get as close to that uh, hostage as I possibly can. So He can't engage round one because of the hostage card, if you don't know. The hostage card um, decreases your trooper speed by one. It increases your courage by one. You cannot be attack or attack. You can't start melees. Um, you're immune to enemy effects, etc. So he wants to come up to really just like, really just scare them more than anything. Get ready to murder them maybe next round. So let him place him, and we'll go back to me. Went to my bag, and I got core. We're gonna go with the hostage core right now. So pre-measured, of course, if we always have camera, he can just kind of come right next to his body here for his first action, and second action is gonna be to move down this way. We'll Rico here, and they're gonna run away with the hostage because Maul's very scary. And that's it. So I went to my bag, drew the core. He's gonna be doing something very similar to what my core is. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my hostage unit over here. Uh, we did pre-measure this over here, so he's actually going to end up right here with two speed one maneuvers. And then we'll go ahead and cohere off of camera. Perfect. Go to my stack, got the core, go with the fleet troopers here. They're just going to start going this way to support the lines. Uh, Luke Skywalker told him to come over here, so you know you, you don't argue with Luke, you kind of just do what he tells you. So they're coming here, Rico here, and they're ready for um, some double-bladed saber guy who they definitely can take on. I'm going to go ahead and go to the bag. I'm going to activate the count. The count. He's going to go ahead and take a double move. He's going to go ahead and join Maul. Double move. For you people at home, that's one, two, two moves. He counts ah, very ah, well. Ah. You know you guys come for this awesome commentary. <laughs> 
Something, you know, you don't want to see is like Maul and, and Dooku like right next to each other when you just have Luke over here and some fleets. And, then he, and you're like, that's not a big deal. But then you look behind him and there's also Grievous. Uh, he's going to use Force Reflexes and go ahead and take a dodge too. That's, to, that's fair. Turn. And that is going to be it for the count. So. Okay, well that's uh, that's something. Okay guys, let's go figure out how to do this. We got some Pathfinders die early. It's fine. Rebel built on hope and stuff, you know. Put in my stack. Got Special Forces. We'll go with these Rebel... Snipers over here, they're gonna aim and they see Grievous just behind a tree and with sharpshooter that will negate that cover. Let's see if we can do maybe a wound to him. Okay, the sniper shoot a black and white dice up to range five, and we're shooting Grievous, who has light cover. Sharpshooter brings it down to no cover. I do surge to hit and I do have pierce, because you're not immune pierce, you're impervious. So something to keep in mind. When I have a name, let's see what we do. I mean, we're just gonna keep that and not touch name. So you're looking at two pierce one. So, so he'll roll three red dice, see if he can negate the damage with his impervious keyword. No, he will take both wounds. So good shot from the Rebel Snipers planking a hit on the uh, android back there. Or not really an android, whatever he is. So we're going to go ahead and activate the core unit here. First thing they're going to do is uh, spend one of their healing to go ahead and heal Grievous of one. So Man, the Rebel Commandos spent so, so much work to put that damage on him. <laughs> and then they're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and move. A speed two this way. Need to be able to protect my guys. Okay. And your second action? The second action, they're actually just going to go ahead and take a standby. Okay, sounds good. Why don't you go here, those guys? Ready? They're dead. Okay, my last unit of Rebel Troopers. We'll move them up to here. For the first action, they have the heal bot droid, so they're just going to kind of stay here. And then for their second action, they're just going to take a... Let's just take a standby for fun. And they're going to chill there. That's them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and activate the last unit of B1s I have. They're going to go ahead and take a short move up to here, and then they're going to go ahead and shoot and attack those uh, evil, evil Mandalorians. Clan Ren, they're wholesome. Family goodness. Ding! Okay, the B1s all shoot white, so with nothing to help them, so this will be a really effective attack. Uh, one. For one. We'll quick it through. I roll red dice, surges the defense. No dodges here. We block it. Just a suppression for us. Okay, here we go with Mr. Gideon himself. He's famous in these pots. He's going to move up. Not fully, just about here. We're going to use our um, take cover one to give a cover over to the Mandalorians. And with vigilance, who knows? Maybe they keep it till next round. All right, going to the bag for the last unit. That is going to be Grievous. Uh, with Grievous, we're going to go ahead and take a double move. He's going to join his uh, fellow Sabres up there and try to act like a really small threat. Man, this is <laughs> this is getting out of hand really quickly, guys. And that is the end of the turn. Of his turn. Of my turn. Oh, with Mr. Luke Skywalker, Hero of the Republic. He can remove suppression on anyone at range 1 to 3, which is really just those Mandos, but they're going to keep it for now. So he's going to move to there which is in range two of Grievous. He'll have heavy cover, but we're gonna throw a lightsaber up there and see if we can do any damage. And we will tap force reflexes for fun to get another dodge, not that it matters at all, and bring it back with Master of the Force. Okay, so four black dice surging the crits, because I'm throwing my saber. It's a range attack, which means he's elevated, so he gets the heavy cover. So I'm looking for at least three hits to get one through with a pierce and have a chance to do one with its impervious or some crits would be nice. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. Come on, Luke, aim true with that saber throw. You got one crit through, buddy. So Pierce will Pierce uh, Pierce two technically, but it's only one. So it's three red dice. And it's three red dice. Yeah, I can pierce two of them. So you need all three. Take no damage. You, you have none. I right, take one damage. <laughs> oh, he hurt you. Not much, but he, he tickled you a little bit. Okay, Sabine's gonna have to get in the action real quickly here with all these lightsaber wielding people. She has a dark saber though, so she's not scared of anyone. So she's gonna jump up to here like so. And turn over just a little bit. She can see some some saber users through this doorway here. So she's going to gunsling Mr. Grievous and Mr. Maul. So let's go to the dice box, see what that looks like. Okay, the way they're positioned, Grievous is kind of half in the doorway, half out. So he has heavy cover. So we'll do his shot first. I throw red, white, and black, or known as a rainbow. Pierce one. Search to crit. No aims or anything, so we need some good dice here. Oh, boy. Well, that's that's not great. Okay, we're going to take these dice, and they're going to throw them over there and not use them again. Grab some different dice for the shot against Maul. Okay, let's try, let's try these dice. These dice feel better. Okay, so this is the same exact shot in the mall, but Pierce won't matter because he's immune Pierce. So we do get two through on Maul, possibly. He will get his defense throw, of course. 
That was a hit, not a crit. There you go. Maul takes two wounds. I'm notoriously really good at rolling red dice. <laughs> End of round number one. Luke came up through a saber. Sabine shot some guys. Commando shot some. Right now, Grievous has two wounds. Maul has two wounds. Dooku's untouched and laughing at them. Move the rest of these guys up here, like so. He's moving his guys that way. They came up and just, just murdered some Pathfinders. There's like little bits of over there, Biston's hairs over there, there's a gun down there somewhere. They're just not alive. Uh, Clan Ren did kill one and put another one in another, so there was a little bit of retaliation there. Let's go to round two and see how this uh, slaughter fest goes, because there's a lot of sabers right there and a lot of, you know, squishy things besides Luke over here, so we'll see how this works. Round number two, where he went with you disappoint me. When you count Dooku issue in order to, you know that unit gains a dodge token. After Count Dooku performs a ranged attack against a troop unit, he may perform a free speed two move with that unit. I went with full of surprises. Luke Skywalker gains one dodge token. While defending, he rolls a number of additional white dice equal to his courage value minus number of suppression tokens. So up to four white extra dice, essentially, if I have no suppression on me. My order went to Luke because that's how it works. Why does he have two dodges? Well, that's a good question. It's because this commander here has vigilance, and Luke's within range too, so he was able to keep his dodge from last round as I bumped him. Um, so he took a dodge from the card, so he has two dodges. He gave his order over here to Dooku and Grievous, and then over to the B1s who then chained it over there. And this, then To this B1, and yep. then this B1 popped HQ uplink. And chained it to those Magna Guards, so his only stack is Mr. Molly Mall. So, yeah, um, I have a two-pip. I get to go first. The question is, what do I want to do with that two-pip? I don't know. There's a Maul who is somewhat squishy, kind of chilling up there a little bit. Does Luke really want to move into that? Let's find out. We're going to think how aggressive I want to be. We're going to go with Luke Skywalker here. He's going to be really aggressive. We feel like we need to be with all these sabers floating around. So the first move, we're going to just come up to here. Second move, come into Maul here. Like so. We're trying not to poke everyone's lightsaber with my lightsaber there. We will uh, use charge to attack. We'll do that in the box a second. After that attack, I would tap force reflexes for a third dodge and tap force push. We're gonna do that now just to show you guys on these lovely hostages. Now that's not round one, he's not immune to everything anymore. So we're gonna tell that droid to go over yonder. We'll Rico here him and we'll go to the dice box, see how that attack went. Okay, Luke's gotten aggressive here. He needs a he needs to kill some savers. That's what he needs to. There's too many. There's seven of those things. That's just absurd. So we're taking our swing, which is seven black dice, surge to crit. On the Maul. Maul has no dodge at the moment, so that's that's a little beneficial for me. But he's immune pierce. It was a com competition in my mind between Grievous and Maul. Grievous has a dodge, plus he gains surge to block at that point. But he's impervious, not immune pierce. Maul doesn't. I went with Maul. Let's see what we can do. Here comes seven blacks, surging to crit. Pierce won't matter against Mr. Maul. No aims or anything. I mean, six is good. So we'll look at this roll real quick. All these surges turn to crits. So it's actually five crits and one hit. So what's Maul going to respond? Is he going to respond with that natty five block and make Joe pull a Donnie and go get some salt? Or are we going to we gonna roll averages or we're going to we're going to whiff? Uh, well, he's got six health left, I believe, or is it even less than that? No, I so think it's he, five, it's right? Five, so there's a chance with my red rolling, my red dice ability that I am dead. I don't think that's going to happen, but that'd be absurd. You do take three, though. You block three, take three, so you're at five of seven. Yes. That was an ouchie, but he did roll averages, technically. All right, I'm going to go with Grievous, who's got to go ahead and rally, because he, do he does have two suppression on him. He gets one he off. He gets one off, which is really what he wanted. Uh, he is going to take an aim token, and he is actually going to go on the other side of Luke here. We can move that order token. To make we will move the order oh, token oh, that's oh. actually Grievous's, and he is going to do some lightsaber things at Luke here. Oh, and Luke, uh, with Master Force, he brought back reflexes, not push, just so people are aware. So let's go see him slash up Luke. I do have three dodges to play with. Let's see what happens. So Grievous is going to attack Luke with the uh, double lightsabers. So he is going to get uh, his attack times two, which is going to be two red, four black, and two white. And he does have tenacity, and he does have a wound, so he's going to be rolling an extra red dice. Uh, he is now, because he is attacking Luke, he does have Jedi Hunter, so he does have Surge to crit. And with one aim, so let's see what he can do. I have full of surprises, so whatever he rolls, I get to additionally roll four white dice, because I have no suppression. So go ahead. Let's see what you do, Jason. Jesus, your, your uh, defensive dice aren't on today, but your offensive, sure. That, sure, that, that is really good, so we will choose these two for the aim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, makes sense. Makes sense. You get one of them. So. One goes away. So you're, just, just a couple is what we're saying here. Okay, that's an interesting roll. So I think we spend two. We hold on to one, so we'll get rid of two more hits here. Okay. So that's bringing us down to a total of, what, six? Total of Only six. 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 I get to add my four whites. So we're going to roll six reds, four whites here. 
because I have no suppression for my full surprise cards. I do have Surge to block now, which is nice. So let's see what we can let's see what we can do with this bucket of defense ice. We're looking for lots of paint here, Luke. I even hold them in one hand. I don't know. Here we go. Ready? It's not great. We got one, two, only three out of all that dice. So we're gonna take three wounds right off the bat. It's a it's an ouchy roll. Okay. It hurts. Go to my stack. We got a core. Let's go with the guys who have the heal droids. So they're gonna first shoot the battle droids up here. They will definitely have heavy cover. But for the sake of filming after that shot, I would then go ahead and take a speed two move up these stairs like so. Do 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 do. Trade this in. They're definitely within range one, so we'll, we'll use the med droid to heal one damage off Luke, bringing him from three down to two to make him a little less squishy, and that will be them. Okay, four black dice from these rebel troopers before they moved and healed. You have heavy cover, so I'm looking for lots of hits or a crit. One crit gets through, so you can't use your dodge. So droids, the ever optimistic defenders, don't count. Excellent. I wish it counted. It was a surge. You don't do that. All right. So one wound and suppression for him. So we're going to go ahead and activate the Magnus. Uh, they are going to rally to see if they can take the suppression, which they do not. They have courage too, and they're droids, so doesn't suppression. Doesn't make a difference. What does it matter to them? So they're going to actually go ahead and uh, climb down the, the stairs here. You know what we need? We need Inquisitors with helicopter sabers. Yes. They will have jump one. They have jump three. Forget your Mandos with jetpacks. So and they're going to actually come to right behind this tree. Double moving, getting closer to the action for next round. Okay, I like it. Go to my stack. We got a commander. Not who we necessarily wanted to see at this point, but it's who we got. So let's just let's just roll with it. We'll give a dodge over to Miss Sabine Wren because she might, you know, she likes dodges. And the second thing, he's gonna just shoot with sharpshooter one into those battle droids. So have you done a light cover with a black and a white dice? And that will be him. Let's go to the dice box and see. Maybe he killed another droid, maybe? maybe. Okay. So this is black and white dice, surge to hit, sharpshooter one, bringing the droids heavy down the light. I don't have an aim or anything. We're looking for a crit or two hits or two surges. Any of those above things sound great. Well, there's a hit. Let's roll a white dice knot out of the bucket. Ooh, one gets through the cover. And, and you're going to dodge it away. We will spend the dodge. Okay, the well, dodge is gone. I guess that's something. Another suppression that won't matter, but it is something. So we are going to go ahead and uh, activate the core unit that's rescuing the hostage. They do, they're going to go ahead and rally and... They're not going to take any of them off, but they're droids, so they don't care. They do have courage, too, so... They have courage, too, because the hostage gives them additional courage. But they're also in the range bubble of, like, you know, commanders. So they weren't panicking either way. Uh, so they're actually going to go ahead and uh, move down to here, and they're going to... While they're there, they're going to... Remember, gonna, they move speed one. Right they now. do move speed one. They're still going to come that way. That's perfectly fine. Uh, well, they are going to be within range one of Maul, so they're going to go ahead and heal one off of Maul. So what are your two actions? Uh, double it's going to be double move. Okay. So. Where are you going to end up? They Let's will show. end up somewhere around here. So so they're going to go here, and they're going to start coming down, so they're going to end up down here. Okay. Okay, we're going to go with Clan Red. They moved up to here, pre-measured, of course, just shy of their full speed three. We'll take our guns and shoot everything we have down at those B1s that are trying to run away and see if we can kill them or at least hurt them. Let's go check that out. Right about now. Okay, this is going to be two blacks for Tristan, two blacks for the no name, and then a black, white, red for Ursa. All the only keyword that really matter here because I don't have an aim is gonna be suppressive. And I search to hit. You have no cover because I have the high ground now. Let's see what happens. Well, my offensive dice are not Jason's offensive dice this game. Okay, so three get through, four completely blank. So you're looking at three saves to me. That's three B three dead B ones. All right, I'm gonna go to the bag, and in my hmm. stack, I only had one chip, so. What could it be? So it is going to be Maul. Maul's gonna go ahead and activate. Um, he is injured, so he does get the three actions this turn. What three actions are you gonna do? So we're gonna take a uh, dodge, and aim, and we're gonna go ahead then and attack with the last action, Luke. And a slicey slice? Okay. Slicey slice. All right, Maul's double-sided saber, the white saber, is uh, four red, Paint your saber. four white. No surging or anything. And I do have an aim token. I have one dodge left. And that's a decent roll again. I can't complain about the offensive dice today. Man, half your whites hit on that too. Jesus. Okay. So we'll This one's definitely going to be a miss. <laughs> so we're going to have to spend an aim on one red, one white. And there we go. Six hits. We'll dodge one to make it five. That's one better than last <laughs> So it's going to be rolling five reds this time and four whites because I have full surprises and I don't have any suppression still. Let's see if any of these whites actually help us this time. Um, and we're hoping for a lot of paint here because Luke, Luke's hurt. We got 
one, two, three, four, and five. So no damage through on this one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no damage on this one. We're okay. Thanks for that white making up for that blink there. So full of surprises help. Luke's okay. We're out of dodges though. We got Miss Sabrina in. Okay, she's got a dark saber. She's got a blaster pistol. So let's get her in the fight a little bit. She'll come up and come down to about here. We're going to come over and take some quick measurements just to make sure I was right on my earlier measurements. She has got Gunslinger. We're going to use that. We're definitely going to shoot these boyos here. We do have them in range. We have in them in range. So let's take a... It doesn't really matter, does it? They'll have cover. They won't. So let's shoot these guys and these guys. We'll shoot these units with Gunslinger. All right. Let's go to the dice. Okay. Red, white, and black. Rainbow, Pierce, one. Gunslinger. Let's shoot the unit with the hostage first. They have three health left. I have three dice. Can we get lucky here, Pierce, one? Probably not, but let's see. Do better this time, it's two. Two Pierce, one. Oh, the so, white dice are just as effective. So the two, healing droid is now dead, though. That's a big That's a big thing. He had one heal left. That's true. We got rid of him, at least. Okay. Next shot's against the HQ uplink boys out there in the open. Oh, my God. Sabine. That was an excellent roll. Sabine. That's twice you've done that to me. So we're going to go ahead and activate the count. Ah, ah, ah. He's going to go ahead and just move forward into base contact with Luke. Watching for all those awesome sabers that are twirling around there. Yeah. Okay. Luke is in the middle of a good old-fashioned fisticuffs, we'll say. That's a, that's a PG word, right? Fisticuffs? Uh, he is going to go ahead and use force push to bring the uh, hostage a little closer. Bring the hostage a little closer. So he'll end up just shy of touching Grievous to about there. I'll cohere everything after this. And then, and then uh, we'll use force choke to do one damage to that unit after it gets there. Okay, Bob, you're down, buddy. Sorry. So Bob's dead. He was force choked. He kind of liked it, but we told him not to, so he had to go away. Okay, and he's going to swing away after all that fun stuff. Let's see what he does. That is correct. All right, so the count is five red dice, surge to crit, uh -huh. normally pierce two, but because of the word I can't pronounce, it's pierce one on force <laughs> Jedi users. And he lowers his pierce by one, so yeah. it's pierce one for immune pierce. So he can still actually pierce loot, which is a big deal. And we That's go a lot with of surges, five. so five. We go with five, two hits and three crits. Okay, I got my five reds ready. No dodges to activate surge to block, which is unfortunate, but I still get my four whites for full of surprises. So we're hoping for, you know, a good amount of natty blocks here would be really nice. Look, if you had that roll of natural block roll, this is the turn. One, which means he's dead. I'm pretty sure, right? He has two wounds on him? I believe so, yeah. You just killed right. Luke. Congratulations. Wow. That's unfortunate. Okay. I'm going to my stack. Now that Luke's dead, that was... Couldn't even roll averages, but that's okay. We're going to go with these guys. We see Maul up there. We're going to go ahead and take an aim and shoot Maul with our high velocity. He can't spend that sweet dodge. These guys will be the hero of the Republic since Luke decided to die. Okay, black and white dice with a name. We high velocity, so he can't spend his dodge. We surged it. He's got heavy down to light cover. Okay, let's spend an aim. We roll two different dice. Dice are my friends tonight. Let's try these two. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you know, things are coming up Joe tonight, guys. So we're going to go ahead and activate Blue Squad here. They uh, did go ahead and tap H go up link, so we're going to recover to go ahead and get that back. And then we're just going to take a two speed maneuver close to the. Uh, Hostage. In case his buddy dies, they can pick him up. Go to my stack. We've got some fleet troopers here. Take an aim, shoot Grievous into heavy cover with the dodge. Let's see if we can get lucky, boys. Hey, they throw eight white dice here. One, two, three, four, six, eight white dice surging to hit. You have heavy cover and a dodge. I have an aim. Let's see if my dice magic turns this round. Oh, yeah. One crit. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. so far he can't negate that crit natively, so that's something. We'll spend the aim and reroll two whites and see if maybe we can add another crit there. That'd be, that'd be nice. We do! Two crits. You can turn your dodge for the surging, but that's about it. Yeah, you have... Yeah, I think I am actually going to spend it just to give me that extra... Turn on the block, if you will. <laughs> that's the only thing I can do. So. Okay. It was a good call. Hey, there you go. It was Locked a good two. call. <laughs> the dice have spoken. They love Jason tonight, guys. Uh, last unit I have left is the core. They're going to go ahead and activate here. Um, they do. Blue does have one heal left. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, move this unit up just a little bit. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We are going to go ahead and uh, heal Maul for one action. Mm. And you, you do have you do have to worry a lot. Luke is going. Oh wait, Luke's dead. And then uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and actually take an aim, and we're going to shoot the hostage team. Throwing some sabers at the hostage. Oh, shooting hit. Yeah, the B1s. Guys. B1s are going to go ahead and take a shot at the hostage guys. Okay, they'll so. have heavy cover. Let's see if he gets some crits or lots of hits. 
B17 AM token, and there you have, they are rolling six whites. I have heavy cover. And One quick gets through. I will spend the AIM token. Oh, he sells an AIM. I apologize. That you see having AIM with your B1s. Uh, still one, one crit. crit. I'll lose another guy. I'll be down to two guys on my hostage unit. Going to my last of my stack. It's the, the hostage unit here. They do have um, a suppression from that shot. You have uh, a white dice shimmy hammy, sir. They have a courage too because they have a hostage. So no matter what, they get two actions. And they get it off. So that's good. So they get two actions no matter what. So we're going to double speed one and run away. So we're going to end up there and then up to this grass corner here like so so we're just kind of just kind of beelining it this way trying to get away from everything the world's ending luke's gone it's not good okay well that was the end of round two and ouch was it a bad round um for me luke looked, it looked promising in the beginning luke came up did a good amount of damage to maul things looking good maul hit luke pretty decent though but then luke miraculously saved everything it's grievous and then luke saved nothing <laughs> I had nine dice with my white dice and rolled one block that you pierced with, with uh, Dooku. So that was the end of Luke, which is probably realistically the end of the match. But, you know, I have been known to work that Mando magic. So let's see if we can make the Mandos work their magic against all this. It's worth a try. Let's go check it out. On round three, where he went with train in your Jedi arts. General Grievous gains disengage and one dodge token at the end of his activation. He can perform an attack against each enemy unit at range one using the following weapon. It's suppressive. It's versatile. It's a grievous spinny bomb. Speaking of bombs, I went with explosion during the end of this or during this round. Spin gains. I can read. Arm two thermal charges. After she performs an action, she may perform a speed one move until the end of the round. She gains detonate thermal charges. That's what they roll. It's gonna be blow up thingies. He rolled a red dice. He rolled a block, which or a blank, which makes me first player. I gave my order to spin because that's what the card says. We'll probably start with her. Starting off with Miss Wren, she will gunsling before she throws bombs. We're going to shoot this unit here and this unit here. After that's done, we will then throw a couple bombs out here. We're going to throw one here, well within that range, one bubble, and one here, which will hit all three of his force users and this thing. So first, let's shoot, shoot, and then blow up everything over here. And we'll see how all that carnage goes as I shake the whole table. Okay. Step one, gunsling. We got red, white, black surging to crit. Pierce one against the B1 who has one health left. Let's see if Sabine can roll pink. Just one, but it's Pierce one, so that B unit will roll one for fun and just die if he wants to. It's up to you. Okay, so that B one of the hostage is dead, drops the hostage where he's at. Gunslinger on the full health HQ uplink, guys. For two, Pierce one. That surges to crit. So two die there. Now we go to the bombs. So each bomb, we're gonna do each, we're gonna do each unit against the bomb. Each bomb's going to hit every one of those units twice. So instead of rolling for each bomb once and then going back and then rolling each bomb again, we'll just do two attacks for each unit to get it out of the way. Okay, so first up we have, uh, let's go with, I don't care who, let's go with Maul. We'll, we'll attack Maul first. So this bomb is red-white. It surges the crit and it's blast. Let's see if we can hurt. One against Mr. Maul for the first attack. Nothing there, just suppression. Another red-white for the second bomb against Mr. Maul. <laughs> wow, I don't know what's going on tonight. Okay, red and white against Mr. Grievous. Looking at one, are you dodging that one away with your dodge? What are you rolling for it? No, we will dodge the... We'll just dodge it away. Okay, second bomb against Mr. Grievous. That's going to be one crit against Mr. Grievous. That is a wound there, and a suppression. So two suppression and a wound for Grievous. Now we got Dooku. First bomb. One crit against Dooku. Second bomb against Dooku. Two hits. One wound and two suppression for Dooku. And then lastly, that B1 unit down there it has blast, so this will be no cover again. So one against the B1s. They're going to roll white dice now. Switching it up a little bit for Jason. One dead B1 in a suppression. And last bomb going off will be one again for one dead B1 in suppression. So, all in all, not too bad. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. I'll take it. All right, we're going to go ahead and activate Grievous. does have three suppressions, so we do need to rally one off, hopefully. I need two off. Oh, I need two off. Do you have more fun? How about I all, all three, three off? I don't know if I really wanted three off, though. <laughs> Whose side are the dice gods <laughs> on tonight? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Chime in below in the comments. So, I am going to go ahead and take an aim action. This is our first action. Okay. Um... 
we are gonna go ahead and uh, move into, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a speed two move. Moving into my heal unit of droids here. He does still have one heal available. I don't know who he uses on. Maybe himself after this attack, if he's still alive. Probably not. And then we do have uh, Relentless, Versatile. We have every keyword there possibly is on him, basically. So uh, he is going to do a... Uh, you double sabering that unit there? I'm actually going to take moment? one saber on him, and then okay. I'm going to shoot uh, the unit you know, of hostages with the other shot. Okay. And then the Grievous Bomb after that will go after whoever's alive within range one. So it's probably going to be these three units, and I don't know if Gideon's at range one or not. He's so. not. He's at range two if you want to shoot him instead. No, we will not. Okay. He's attacking the Fleeting Rebels right now with one saber, which is two reds, two blacks, and the white. That is correct. With tenacity and the red. Okay. Yeah, so the extra red for tenacity. So. Yep. Okay, you got two blanks. You got three so far. Are you were spending your aim now or you're saving it? Uh, I think I'm going to save the aim, actually. Okay, so the three, you want to just pierce one because you're using one saber? That is correct. Okay, so I got three white dice coming in the box. Roll better than Luke, so you pierce one, so I will lose two and still have quite a few people left in that unit, so that's good. And then you um, now shooting your gun. Correct, which is he's checking his card. Two black, two white with critical one, pierce one. Two black, two white, crit one, pierce one. Okay, let's see how that looks. This will be at the hostage unit. They only have two people left, so could hurt more. Ooh, so far you have one crit. You spending your aim, or are you saving it? You still have a grievous bomb to go too, so it's up to you. Uh, I'm actually going to spend it. Okay, so one crit so far. Spending his aim. Uh, just the one crit. Just the one crit still. Okay, so they live no matter what I roll here. It's Pierce 1, right? It is Pierce 1. So I'm down to the unit leader there, but he's still alive. Now Grievous Bomb kicks in. So Grievous Bomb will just go ahead and shoot those guys, the hostage unit first. Okay, this has no Pierce though, correct? That is correct. And now that I have suppressions all around, uh, this they will have light cover. Two with light cover brings him down to one. It's all you need. So if I get a blank here, he dies. He dead. Okay, he's dead. Unit, the hostage gets dropped. And then I'll go ahead and uh, use the uh, against the unit that I am engaged with. But it... okay. So it is technically melee. Okay. Right? Isn't it melee on that one, or is it just a range one shot? If you're doing it, it is ranged one. It is a melee. So I do get the extra red dice for tenacity. Okay. Four with no pierce though. You killed it earlier, so I still have three left. I block two, lose two. All I have left is a unit leader now. The Medroid is down. And then it will be a range one shot to the fleets. Okay. No cover. No cover. Three. Walk one and lose two fleets. Okay, that's it. Got my commander. Gideon's gonna save the day, guys. He's gonna move up here. It's right here and use the claim action to claim her as his own. He will inspire the one off the fleet troopers who had one suppression from that Grievous Bomb. They are now suppressionless. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna, we went to the bag here. We did pull a core. Or not a core, the uh, special ops. So the magnets are gonna go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take one movement going closer to the hostage. These guys claim the fame as they killed Bistin's unit before Bistin got to go because Joe got too gutsy with his infiltrate, thinking Duh, or J uh, Jason wouldn't take his MAGA guards away from his Jedi and we're actually just gonna go people. <laughs> Sorry, I cut Joe off. I'm rambling. Cut me <laughs> off, please. I'm going to go ahead and double move these guys up to here. Get ready to claim them next round, perhaps? Perhaps? Hmm? Looks good, looks good. Actually, it would be in base contact, sorry guys. Okay, I'll go back to me. But not claimed. With my stack, pulled special forces. We're gonna aim and shoot them all. Um, he's within range three, so I'll get two blacks and a white dice this time. Let's go shoot him. Okay, two blacks and a white dice, a black and a white from the sniper and a black from the other guy since I'm in range three. I do surge to hit. I have pierce one, which won't matter against them all. Sharpshooter one brings his heavy down the light. Let's see what we get. Two so far. We'll spend the aim on this white, see if we can make it three. We do. One goes away from cover, so you're looking at two hits on Mr. Maul. And, and Mr. Maul says, Maul no, thank them. you. So we're going to go ahead and activate this unit here. They are uh, 
not going to recover this turn, so they're not going to use their HQ uplink. We're going to go ahead and take a one movement here, which is going to put us in base contact, or two speed, one mm -hmm. uh, over within the hostage, or to recover the hostage, and we will go ahead and claim them. So What the, he's trying to say is he'll take one move action, base the hostage, and then use the second action to claim the hostage as his own. He now owns the hostage. Congratulations, Jason. Pretty much that. It's a core unit. Remember when I said inspired him off of the fleets? I inspired one, but the, his Grievous Bomb is suppressive, so he gave me two. So let's see if I get it off. I do get it off! Hey! Look at that. Look at that, guys. Um, what are they going to do, though? That's... I think at this point, they see a lot of Force users, and they're not a Force user, so they're going to run here. And then we're just going to take a standby over here. And when we take a standby, we do get an aim because... Uh, ready one is the keyword that gives them a free aim when they take a standby and they're just gonna relax go ahead and go to the bag i did go ahead and draw them all it's mr maul you got two suppression maul doesn't care but he'll still roll it because he's supposed to uh, he keeps the suppression but he's got courage three he's fine yeah he's actually going to use his uh juyo mastery to do three actions he's going to run time. through this doorway the first one ends just shy of base contact of this mando You'd be in there just shy. And then the second one's going to come to, you want to base yep. like that? Yep. Basing both Gideon, things. he's going to just mess Gideon up. He's got four health. He throws eight dice with Pierce, too. This is going to be bad times for Gideon. Okay, Maul's lightsaber is four red, four white. No surges, so it's just going to be naked dice. Let's see what we can do. And we put through three and a crit, so for four. Pierce, two. Four Pierce, two. So I need to roll at least... It was not good. Okay. Rolling four. If I roll anything less than three defenses, he, I, he dies. I blocked one, which he pierced, so Gideon's dead. Good my stack. Oh, I missed my standby opportunity to shoot them all. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We got core. We'll go here. He's got one suppression. White dice is somewhere. Here it is. He gets it off. He gets two actions. He's going to aim and punch Grievous in the face. Here's his first attack. Don't need the aim. Take a damage. Grievous says, no, no, sir. Jason's dice were touched by an angel. I will not take a damage tonight. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the bag. The only unit we have left is the Count on, uh, in the bag. Uh, he does have two suppressions, so we are going to go ahead and rally. And one of them will come off. Not that that makes much of a difference. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move through the temple. He moves through the tunnel. And uh, we'll be in soon. base contact with the Mandos there. Clan Rens and being engaged here. We're, we're going to go ahead and slice them up. So She'll technically be engaged on the inside of that. We'll do that in a second. Though, to fix that. Okay, let's go to the dice box. Okay, I do have five red dice with uh, surge to crit, right? Yep, Pierce two. And Pierce two. I'm impervious with a dodge and nimble. Ooh, you blanked one. So I will dodge one away to make it three pierce two total, which if my impervious, I'm going to be rolling five red dice, surging the block. And there you go. I get everything. So he pierces two, and then I still have three to his three. So no damage gets through, and my nibble brings back the dodge. Where my stack? We've got the Mandalorians. They're going to take an aim and just start pummeling as fast as they can against uh, Dooku. You know, there are Mandos. They roll two black each. That's six black dice, surge to hit. Let's see if Clyde Ren can do anything against this. Sith Master. Okay, six black dice. Um, surging to hit with an aim against his Dooku. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we hit three. It's a little better than we've been doing tonight. Let's see if we can convert any with an aim. We convert both. It's five getting through, possibly, maybe. I don't even know what Dooku has left for health over there. But he got one wound on him from the bomb only? Yeah. He takes one. One. Things... Things are looking up. Your defense dice have turned around now, so now I'm doomed. That is correct. <laughs> Go ahead and activate the core here. They do have to rally. They take one off. Okay, what are they doing with that one or two actions? Excuse me, they're jerks. Uh, I believe I'm actually just going to come forward here. I'm going to double move and... Uh, and Reinforce, your reinforce the guys, get over there, get some extra guys. So. Okay, so as he's moving, I will give you the end of the round battle report. Commando's hiding here. We got lots of melee action. There's only one Rebel Trooper left over there with Grievous. Some fleets are down here. Maul is um, killed Gideon. He's ready to engage and take that hostage. Clan Ren is tying up Dooku. Did do a damage to him. Sabine's right there. Um, yeah, let's go to the round four and see what happens. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, in round four, where he went with Fear, Suppression, Intimidation, which reads Count Dooku gains Arsenal 2 and Relentless, and each of his ranged weapons gain Versatile. After he performs an attack, each defender gains two Suppression tokens. Legacy of Mandalore is what Sabine went with. It's Sabine and two troopers. She gains Inspire 1, and when Sabine ran, issues an order to Commander, Operative, or Special Ops unit, she gains either an Aim or Dodge. She gave unit to herself, to her clan Ren buddies, and to the core unit that's down there, because that was all that was really in range. So she gained an aim for giving one to herself and a dodge for giving one to her clan Ren. Her clan Ren were retinue a dodge. And he gave his to Dooku. And I think that's it, right? That is correct. And then I did retinue. Hey. Um, Dooku's, dodge. Dooku's up first. I'm assuming we're just going to aim yeah. and do some shenanigans, right? Yes, we're going to aim and then we're going to take the, uh, we're going to saber attack the Mandos and then we will um, lightning. And you're out. lightning the f fleets or Sabine are your two options here. Or you could, you can lightning, you can lightning and saber the Mandos if you wanted to. With Arsenal too. I actually cannot because it's not a. I can't melee my lightning. Oh, is it range one it to two? Range one to two. So I will actually. Um, I think I'm gonna lightning the uh, fleets on the bottom. Probably kill them. Okay. Okay. Prior to the attack, he did go ahead and use force reflexes to gate a dodge, and then he went and force choked the uh, rebel unit that was uh, engaged with um, Grievous. So now Grievous is left alone. It's true. And here's that aim. So the lightsaber against the Mandos is five red, pierce two. Surge to crate. Okay. Looking at four again. You're spending the aim. Are you saving it for the... I, I am actually going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to save it for the other ones. Okay, so. I will dodge one away to make it three again. And I'm impervious again, so it's going to be me rolling five. Because you have pierce two, right? That is correct. Five red dice. We dodge them all again. Thanks to surge to blocks. The mandos are fine. And they get their dodge back at the nimble. So now you're, you're using your lightning on those fleet troopers who have no cover down there. That's correct. Oh, Pierce one. This might be the end. Not might. This should be the end for the fleet troopers. Okay, there's two. So we will spend the aim here. Okay. Four. Okay. Unless I get all four here. You killed them. White dice. I should get all four easy. Right? Look at three, but you pierce one, which is just enough because my two guys die, so the fleets are down. We're going to miss Sabine Wren. She's got an aim and a dodge from her command card. She speed three can get really far. She doesn't need to go that far. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump. We don't even need to jump. We're just gonna walk over here. Base contact Mr. Maul with our dark saber. And we're gonna swing away and see if we can show Maul how to use the saber correctly. Dark saber is five black dice. It has dauntless, it has immune pierce, it has pierce one, impact. None of that matters. I do have five black dice with surge crit though. With the name. Let's see what we get. That's a good start. Aiming. No, it didn't. So four getting through on Mr. Maul. He does have to block some. He does have to block some. Ooh, he's dead. He blocks, he takes th uh, three. Yep. And I believe that puts uh, enough damage to kill him. So. Sabine showed him who the true person, leader of Mandalore is with that dark saber. All right, I went ahead and went through the stack. Uh, got Grievous on this one. Okay, what's uh, Grievous, Grievous doing? Grievous is going to go ahead and take an aim. Okay. And going to go ahead and move right into base contact with Sabine. He goes, oh. and uh, he's He gonna... crawls up here, and then he jumps down just for fun. Just just, just for effect, guys. Not really. He just moves up and bases Sabine. With Relentless, he's going to proc a melee attack and swing a couple lightsabers in Sabine's face. But don't worry, she's got a dodge, and my dice have been red hot in defense, so it should be fine. The Mandos have been pretty good, though. So we do have the aim. Uh, his lightsaber, two of the dual lightsaber, is uh, two red, four black, two white, and then because of tenacity, I do get the extra red die. Do have an aim. Let's see how much we can cut up Sabine. That's going to be a lot. Uh, we're going to spend that aim token on these two black. Well, at least you're for sure missing this one, I guess. That's something again. The Grievous dice have pretty hot. Ooh, ha! Ah, that one misses too. Okay, so just a buttload, but we're going to dodge one away, so make it buttload to a little less buttload, so six. Spent the dodge, we get back to Nimble if we survive this. We do have to roll six. We are immune pierce, so we don't worry about impervious, because Dark Saber gives us that full. I only have five health with Sabine, so I do need to roll paint here. Just live. We will take three, though. That's a, that's a, that's an ouch for Sabine. That's like a big ouch. Okay, unfortunate, but she's still there. She's still alive. Maul's dead. That was the big thing. He can't swing at me, too. Otherwise, I'd probably be dead. Go with Clan Ren. They're going to take an aim and just start pummeling against uh, Mr. Dooku. They're sitting there using their bracers to deflect the lightsaber, and they're just going to start bashing him with their guns. They're going to see if they can outnumber him, overwhelm him. And, and Count will remember that he actually took a dodge this time, like he's supposed to. Bad Count. Okay, the Clan Ren each roll two black dice in melee, so it's going to be six dice. Surgeon hit with an aim against Mr. Dooku. 
Well, that's a good start. We're starting out with five because of our surge to hit nonsense there. We're going to spend our aim on this one blank dice, see if we can get one more conversion. We do. So full six, but you're going to dodge it down the five. I am going to spend the dodge token. Dodges it down the five and activates his surge to block. No deflect because it's not a, not a range attack. But let's see what he can do. He will take two more. All right. And he's getting, he's chipping away slowly. Going to the stack, draw a core. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just double move the hostages back. Come with us, Viceroy. We'll protect you. Roger, roger. Get back into my deployment zone. He thought two of them were getting out of hand. There was three of them, but it's being cut it down to two. Get it, guys? Cut it down to two. And the hostage will be freed. <laughs> Jason does not find my jokes funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. That core is dead. Oh, that, that's alive. It's those commanders over here who have no shots. So I think at this point, what they're going to do is they're just going to start a... They need to support their, their teammates. So they're going to run this way. And they're going to run this way. Just start getting up to... Let's put it right there. Just start getting up to help if maybe next turn. That's up. Okay. Okay. Go to the stack, and that's Maul. Maul's no longer in existence. Thank you, Sabine, for that. We appreciate your contribution to the to the team. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the core here. And at this point, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull the core back. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just pull the core back with a double move. Double move. They're going to just kind of surround the hostage to make sure he survives because he is, you know, he's one of the vice good friends. Okay. Going to go ahead and draw the last one from the stack. That's the guards here. The guards, after killing Biston in round one, they're finally going to do something, I think. So, uh... Double move to charge I think we're just going to double move into the, into the Mandalorians, so... They're going to see if they can help Dooku. Dooku's getting hurt. He's got four wounds on him, so the guards are coming in to help see if they can uh, soften up those mandos for him. Okay, we'll go to the dice box. Okay, it's going to be uh, two black dice apiece, so six black dice with surge to hit. So that's four getting through, if it looks correct to me. That is correct, yes. Okay, I will dodge one away to make it three. I don't have a name, so it is just that. And then Nimble will come back to me, but I do have to roll my three dice. Let's see what happens here. We do take one wound, but each of my mandos have two health, so we don't lose anyone still. So we're okay. Mandos are still tough. They're tough, man. End of round four. Commandos ran up to do nothing, but Sabine did kill them all, and, and Grievous engaged and got some revenge with three damage on Sabine. That hurt. Uh, Dooku swung at the Mandos to nothing. Mandos punched Dooku in the face for two damage, so he's up to four wounds. The Magnus ran in to help Dooku and did one damage to my lovely Clan Ren, so they're a little hurt. And these droids are securing their, their uh, hostage back there. Points-wise, it looks like it's going to go to him, unless I can pull something off with these Commandos and Sabine nonsense, which it is possible. So let's go to the round five and see what happens. Five. He went with double the fall. At the start of the activation phase, if Count Dooku has a face of order token, he may return it to the order pool to make one of my guys arrange one to put it back in the order pool. Unfortunately, guys, I have standing orders because my other two cards in my command deck are both Luke, and Luke died early, so that's unfortunate. So I'm giving my order to um, Sabine. Do you want to put Dooku's order back to put Sabine's back, or are you going to keep Dooku's order out? I will keep the order out. Okay, I figured. Just going to ask. Okay, who are you going with first since uh, Mr. Mr. Dooku probably... Or are you going with Grievous first? What's your pleasure here, sir? Do you need a moment to think about it? No, it will be Dooku. Or no, it'll be Grievous going first. Grievous, so aim and slash? Aim and slash. It's a good chance because uh, Sabine has no dodge yet with this card, so a good chance to kill her. She only has two health left. Rebels are looking pretty scary here, guys. So it is going to be Grievous with his lightsabers, uh, the two attacks. So it's going to be two red, four black, two white, and then tenacity for the extra red with an aim. Sabine has no dodges. That makes me sad with only two health left. So let's see what happens here. Jason doesn't know to roll bad. Uh, that was Jesus. Yeah, Jason. that was pretty solid. Uh, we we are, we know this is gonna be a mess. He wanted me to get close. So, <laughs> I'm gonna spend the aim on these two right here. Oh, there are two misses here. So just two, four, six, just seven. Is that seven? Two, four, six, Jesus. That Eight. is seven. Two, four, six, seven. I only am allowed to have one blank here if I want Sabine to live. So odds are not looking good, but we're gonna try. Come on. Come on, where's the force? Is the force with me? I'm on with the force, and the force is with me. I'm on with the force, and the force is with me. Absolutely not. She rolls a career worse four blanks in this roll. She goes down. Probably the hope of the rebels go with her. But Klenrin wants to see if they can finish off Dooku, so we're going to go try that. Okay, well, Speed's dead. Going to my stack. Should be two special forces. We're going to go with Clan Ren. They're just going to aim and see if they can finish off Dooku. Dooku only has two health left. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so Clan Ren again. Two, four, six black dice aiming with surge to hit against Dooku. Can they can they revenge their fallen daughter and, and sister? Oof, not a great start. Only hit the three. 
We need a good aim conversion here to have a chance. It's a good aim conversion, guys. Five hits. You just need two blanks or two surges. And Dooku goes down. He's got two health left. Come on. A blank and a surge. Just enough. The count falls. We Luke fall. died early, but somehow Sabine and Clan Rain at least killed two of the Saber users. Probably in vain, but they still did it. All right, go to the stacks. That's all I have left. Uh, we did go ahead and draw Magnus here. Ooh, they're real mad because the count's dead. The count is dead. Oh, um, this is the count. They do have AI move or dodge first, though. So. Ooh, no aim. Is that what you're telling so me? So there will be no aim in this attack. So they will go ahead and just take a dodge. Okay. And then we'll we go ahead and out. attack the... Uh... Let's make it look nice for this attack, guys. There we go. And okay. then we'll go ahead and attack the Mandos. They have one wound in the dodge. Let's see if Magnus can kill one of them. Okay. The Magnus uh, with six black dice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surge to hit. Oh, only two? two hits. I will dodge one, but if I blank here, you do kill one of my Mandos. That's the question. Do one die? Yes. Oh, the, wow. no, the no name guy goes down, but okay. Ursa and Tristan survive. Okay, go to my stack. It should be just the Commandos. We are definitely within a speed two range of getting up there, so we will move up for our first action and grab her officially claim her for my second action. Not that there's not a big scary guy with sabers right behind them, but you know, maybe, maybe on a whim, I will uh, be able to run away with them. And then his last two actions, there are both of them. He said he's just dodging and sand buying with both. That completes round five. So we'll go to round six and finish up real quick for you. A few activations left. We'll see if anything magical can happen for the Rebels. Odds are no because of this guy still here. So being survived one more turn, there would have been a good chance. Round six, standing orders against standing orders since Dooku and Maul and Luke and Sabine are all dead at this point. Um, unfortunately, I rolled a block for seeing who goes first, so it's going to be Maul, I mean, Grievous, and, well, they did claim, but, yeah. Um, are you going with one of the B1s first, sir? Uh, no, I'm actually going to go through and, uh, Grievous is going sure to use some more sabers. So, so he's going to move into base contact with my sniper? Yes, and, yeah. Yep, are you go. aiming first, I'm assuming? I will aim, and move, okay. and use... I'm sure my two snipers... That uh, you don't have Pierce two against or anything will be completely fine. It should. Right, so Maul does have, or uh, sorry, Grievous does have a aim, and again his huge dice pool of every color rainbow plus an extra red. So you've not rolled one bad roll with them. Uh, I don't even really need to spend the aim because yeah. they're they're going down. Yeah, you go, no, spend the aim. Come right, on, let's we'll see. Can, can we'll we get a full Monty? We'll see what we could do. You only got a thousand hits in there. What's two more? No, you've double blanked. So it's only what. Two, four, six, seven. seven. Seven pierce two, right? Yep. And I have two guys left, so there's definitely a realistic chance of me surviving here, right? <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm doing math on my head right. Let's see. Seven pierce two. If I get all seven, I still die, so... Did roll three blocks in that one, but they're dead. They're dead. Um, with that said, we're going to stay here at the dice box for a second, just, just to make this a little faster, because that's going to win him the game. The game's officially over. But I want to see if Clan Ren would go next. They're going to aim and see if they can kill some androids. So they're going to aim for their first action. That's going to be only four blacks because they lost one of their brothers here. They do. Uh, the Magna does have a dodge due to Retinue. Oh, we're not ending on a high note. Oh, so it's going to be three. You're going to dodge one away to make it two. So two getting through. Uh, and they do, I do lose, lose one guy. Magna. So one so, man damage does kill one Magna. So. Okay, so one Magna's down. And for the last activation of this game, your Magnus would go. And they have to dodge or move. So you're going to dodge first. They will take a dodge. And you're going to swing with four black dice against my Mandalorians who have no dodges this time because I chose to attack and Retinue is gone. So let's see what you can do. Surge to hit. Two. It's enough to kill Tristan if, if I don't block anything. I block both. Tristan survives. Let's go talk about the game. End of the game. He gets, uh, what is it, two victory points for your hostage? Is that? You get, you get the victory points for getting your hostage back. Two, to your yes, two and you would have zero. So. I get none because... Well, all I have left is my Clan Ren. Well, I will say, guys, Clan Ren survived multiple hits from Dooku, multiple hits from Magnet Guards, and they just lost a no name. That's it. The two Tristan Nurse are still full health. Sabine could have lost one more round. If Luke could have lost one more round, I could say a lot of could have. It could have happened. Maybe things would have been a little different. The biggest factor was this, this Luke. I knew he was going to die, guys. Someone's going to be like, well, what did you expect? It's three save users. I knew he was going to die. I just figured with full surprises, three dodges, and me rolling decent, I would have survived into the round three and been able to send a Skywalker. But unfortunately, I rolled one block off seven dice in that last roll and two blocks off the seven dice in the first roll against him. So it was not good. Lots lots of loop blanks there. Sabine and the Mandos made it look close from a battle standpoint, not from a victory point standpoint. But if we're being honest, the biggest error of the game was the infiltrating the Biston-led unit over there. Didn't think he would put the guards over there. That was my bad. I was just getting a little aggressive there. So that was a bad thing to get me down a heavy hitting unit really quickly. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I love Sabine and the Mandos together. Clan Wren. Regular Mandos do need some help on the Rebel side, I think. But Clan Wren is, is solid with, with Sabine. Jason, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, losing your Pathfinders early, I think, really hurt you quite a bit. It kind of forced you to be very aggressive with Luke to try to save the game. And uh, my hot offensive dice and your lackluster defensive dice just didn't really help Luke very much. And that was really, that was really it. Yeah. Um, the Mandos, which I dislike, they are my most hated <laughs> minis on the entire table. Good thing Super Commandos aren't coming out today, and you can bring four of them. Yeah, we're not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to buy them just so I can feel them. That's how much I dislike them. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've used Magnus, and I'm probably guessing by the time that this video does get released, they're going to have new points would be my guess, but who knows? Yeah, so we'll see. this list might not be legal in, in, in a week or two. Um, but we will we'll see. But I do like having the Magnas on there. Uh, the seven sabers with Magnas is, is a nice upgrade. Yeah, I normally run it with four B ones and a lot of healing. But the uh, dumping one B one and some healing and adding a Magna in there was. Uh, I mean, you that, wiped that, a ninety eight point unit and with I didn't one even, melee, and I didn't even use them for Guardian, which is kind of what they're there for in the first place. So that yeah. adding the Magna instead of a B one was uh, definitely a win. I agree. Your healing is always annoying because I put wounds through and you. Took off through da three damage throughout the course of this game. Not you couldn't do the. F I didn't let you do that fourth, but you did three, which is big. I did one of my two, um, but yeah. I mean, I think if I would have not been stupid with Biston and probably not infiltrating him, the other idea was to put him just to infiltrate him like here, so nowhere near his area, but a little bit more than his normal, you know, range one would have been. Just the fire support, I think, would have been a much better plan. Um, who knows if that would have helped. Uh, Jason was very surprised to see me not playing some of the Skywalker turn two. The idea was he was full surprise to survive to pull some heat off of the hostage unit to get him out of there. Unfortunately, Luke didn't roll much help there. Um, but yeah, I agree with Jason said he had very hot offensive dice in the beginning. I had very poor defensive dice. The only thing that had really good defensive dice were these boys here, or boy and girl, and Sabine had good until that last roll. Um, but even Sabine's offensive dice, every time I gunsling, I think one shot completely blanked on me. So it was just, it was interesting. Fun game. I always enjoy playing Seven Sabers. Um, it was it was a little bit more fun having units. I think last time we played you, I think I had like one melee unit, so you kind of just walked through me a little bit. So this time I had a little bit more counter. So yeah, guys, um, keep in mind, like I said in the end of the video, Summer Cup's coming up. Jason will be participating in the Summer Cup. Could this be his list in the Summer Cup? Well, if there's any point updates, tomorrow, because we're filming this on Monday. So Tuesday, which is tomorrow, for us, it was going to be when the points or the new rules update. So we'll see if any point changes come. That's another reason we were holding off for the Summer Cup. And Shadow Collective comes out this Friday. And by the time this video drops, Shadow Collective will be out. We all are buying into it. We're going to build and paint those guys as fast as humanly possible to get them on the channel. Heck, we might even have them the following week after this video just not fully painted yet. Just to get them on the channel show you guys what they can do. So with that said, please subscribe below if you haven't. Like the video. Comment below for the entry from J Square Design. Thank you all very much. And thanks, Jason, for coming out and playing tonight. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks for inviting me. It's always good to be on camera. So.